Let's talk a little bit about Operation Copper Shield. Uh, you rolled that out earlier this month. It deals with how Arizona can approach the border situation, correct? Correct. And, and you know, we're through waiting on Washington, D.C. Again, the voters get really sick and tired, I think, of saying, well, wait a minute, that's not our jurisdiction. We can't handle that. That's the federal government's job. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution says explicitly that the federal government shall protect the states from invasion. I don't think there's any doubt that what the cartels are doing at the border is tantamount to an invasion. With 92% of the illegal fentanyl coming into this country, killing uh, our youth like uh, like like uh, never before. Uh, in fact, uh, the number one killer of people ages 19 to 35 in this country is fentanyl, and uh, and then the sex trafficking, the human trafficking, uh, the gun running. Uh, it, it's it's horrible. And as governor, I intend to stand up and do what I can. Uh, from day one, I will declare uh, a state of emergency at the border. I'll call the special uh, the legislature into a special session and ask them for $200 million. Uh, $140 million of that will go to put armed National Guard, 1,200 uh, members of the National Guard at the border as a virtual human wall uh, to make sure that we protect our state's interests. And uh, also uh, $50 million uh, to our uh, county sheriffs and, and county attorneys so that we can start arresting and incarcerating people that break state laws. Uh, and uh, one of those state laws that uh, is being broken is criminal trespass, and it's just not being enforced. And so we, we're, gonna, we're going all out. I'm not going to accept, accept any excuses. We will do everything within our power uh, as a state to set the cartels on their heels and